but let's see the other parts of this CHMM. Now, what doesn't apply to the CHMM? Now, first of all, hybrid heat pumps. Now, if you don't know what a hybrid heat pump is, well, basically, it's a combi boiler that runs the hot water and central heating, but at a certain temperature, outside temperature, the heat pump becomes more efficient than the gas boiler, so it swaps over to the heat pump. And basically, you would have a hybrid system if your insulation wasn't good enough or you just don't have the space for a cylinder. Now, a hybrid heat pump counts as half a sail towards a heat pump. Now, things that don't apply to it, boilers over 70 kilowatt net don't comply with the CHMM and also only hydronic uh, or what heat pumps apply to it. Air to air don't. Now sales to new builds don't count towards it and that could be a heat pump or a gas boiler. You can't count them in the CHMM and also sales abroad so if the boiler manufacturer can say the boiler is being sold outside the UK, then that doesn't count towards the boiler sales and the uh, CHMM. So it's only boilers sold in the UK. Now, realistically, is this going to happen? And how achievable is all this? Well, first of all, this is all being brought in because of the Energy Security and Net Zero Department are basically the MP Ed Miliband. And the Climate Change Committee, the CCC, which has published its seventh carbon budget, which it states that half of the UK homes should have heat pumps in them in the next 15 years. But at the moment, there's literally less than 1% of the UK homes has a heat pump. Now, also in the report by the CCC was something that isn't really a surprise to me is they say no to hydrogen boilers and they say hydrogen should not play a part in heating the homes in the UK. So all that time, effort and money boiler manufacturers have gone to designing and promoting boilers being hydrogen ready is now completely 